Prepare to watch me execute my first perfect triple fuete! Looking like a star! You got this! could use a bit of it. She was way too scared to sing. Maybe we could help her build some confidence. You want to help Gwen? Gwen, Grizel's granddaughter. The locket stealer? Doing a good thing is still a good thing, even if the person we're doing it for is... Gwen? Besides, there's another reason to help. An ulterior motive? If we help her gain confidence, she'll be so busy doing fun stuff that she won't have time to even think about stealing the locket. Okay, I'm in. I've been dying to get my hands on Gwen's wardrobe since kindergarten. Her wardrobe? I thought we were all about making her confident. When you look good, you feel good. Why do you think I always feel great? Well, we know one thing for sure. Gwen will never take our advice, which means we have to be sneaky. What could possibly be a bad idea about going tiny and sneaking into Grizel's pet house to redo Gwen's wardrobe? There's no way they'll stay home when there's a massive sale going on at Miniature Alley. Are you sure this is gonna work? 30% off! Ooh, can we stop at the costume shop on the way home? I need a new hot dog costume. The buns are sagging on my old one. Never doubt the power of the sale, girls. Ugh, this place could really use a splash of color. <laughs> While we're here, can we do 
a little decor makeover. Guys, can we just focus and find Gwen's room, redo her wardrobe, and get out of here? I'm already missing Intergalactic Frog in the Battle for Swampula Part 2. This way. So much space, so little style. Ugh, totes trash. Is there any hope? Go big! Who needs hope when you've got this much talent? At least Lila doesn't have a confidence problem. A patch here, a patch there. When I'm done revamping Gwen's wardrobe, every step she takes will feel like she's on the catwalk. Whoa. I've never seen anyone handle fabric with such precision. The piping, the embroidering, the invisible hem. I don't know what's happening, but I can't look away. And done! I outdid myself. The changes I made were a thing of beauty. Gwen is gonna be gorge. <gasps> They're back! Tiny power! No! Oh, there wasn't a single thing on sale! Except my new hot dog suit! Buns in place! Wait a minute, Gwen. Something's not right here. Dust on the miniature duck pond? When have you done your chores yet? What chores? You need to clean your room, dust the miniatures, take out the recycling, and most importantly, come up with a plan for stealing Polly's locket. Ugh, is it too late to do something about those shoes? Yes, and shh. <sighs> I got it. I'll pretend to be a hot dog and... <laughs> Less me talk, more plan talk. We are never going to give up until we get that locket. Never! of observation tell me that. Gwen is totally into it. Great! That'll make the next step even easier. Whoa, next step? <laughs> you want me to make over Griselle? No, the step where everyone is so charmed by Gwen's confidence that she becomes super popular and she doesn't have time to hang out with Griselle and plan how they're gonna steal my locket. Although, Griselle could use a makeover. My dress? Oh, this old thing? I just threw it on, but you're right. I do wear it well. This old thing? Oh, please! Come on, while they're looking at Gwen, we can make it to the piano. Okay, class. Yeah, hmm. It appears that Polly, Shawnee, and Lila have been excused from this period due to a case of highly contagious puffy pox. <laughs> yeah. Puffy pox? You could have said we were whisked away to Paris for an impromptu modeling gig. It had to be believable and something that no one would ask for pick proof of. Here are the assignments for everyone else. Gwen Grande, you'll be playing the piano today. But I don't play the piano. Well, if it's on the list, it's on the list. <laughs> Give it a try, won't you? You can do it, Gwen. When you look as good as you do, you can do anything. Andre, you'll be on the drums, and Olivia, you're trumpet. There. Now, no matter how badly she plays, no one will hear it. They'll only hear me, and I'm good. Oh, maybe this whole confidence thing is contagious. No, it's a fact. I'm good. I could read music since I was three. Plus, I was born with perfect pitch. Oh, 
And I used to play piano recitals at Child Prodigy Summer Camp. Shani, I'm gonna cut you off there before you start bragging. Hit it, maestro! Practice paid off. Gwen, you've done it again! Love the badges. Where did you get this amazing outfit? This? Well, I designed it myself. Excuse me? Shh, the plan, remember? I guess I just have a knack for this kind of thing. <laughs> Down, girl! No, I'm the one. I'm the one who has the knack. Some might say I'm the trendiest girl in town. <laughs> she took that well. The trendiest girl in town. Let it go, Lila. Everything is working out exactly the way we want it. I'm having a hard time wrapping my brain around that particular idea. Gwen is keeping Grizel so busy with her invitations and clubs and mall dates that neither one of them have time to go after my locket. Well, you do have a point. But at what cost? Trendiest. Snap out of it! We've got things to do, like get ready for our dance audition this Friday. <gasps> oh, I designed the cutest dance costume! You'll be the most fashionable dancer there. We're gonna be great! <laughs> Clean up on our one, we got a poly down. <laughs> uh, that could have gone better. Have you practiced at all? Uh, well, not lately. I've been pretty busy with the whole Gwen thing. But from now on, I'll focus, for sure. I design clothes and play beautiful music, so I have no doubt that my painting will be extraordinary. Uh-oh. If Gwen realizes she can't paint, that'll be a major hit to her confidence. Maybe that would be a good thing. I'm okay with knocking her down a peg or two, or ten. Tenth trendiest girl in town sounds more Gwen to me. We have to do something. Look at the mess she's making. I've taken enough art history to know that one person's mess is another's masterpiece. Hey, Pocket, check it out. They should probably make some space in the Littleton Art Museum for this bad boy. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, Gwen. Great job. I stand corrected. It's time to go all abstract expressionist on Gwen's campus. Without a clean brush. Hmm. I never thought I'd say this, but you are good, Gwen. Good? Uh, well, I'd say genius, more like it. But I guess you don't know as many big words as I do. I am like the smartestest person at school. Oh, now she's getting into my territory. Who's excited to dance our hearts out at the audition today? I'm nervous, but I feel good about it. I halved my hair time this morning so I could practice. At least you guys have been practicing. I really haven't found the time. Oh! oh. She's oh. Oh. Map book! I don't need it. I just wanted to make sure you have it. Clear the way for someone more confident than you. <sighs> We've created a monster. A two-headed, fire-breathing, overconfident Gwen beast. Look, it's not all bad. To Peanuts Pit Stop, Gigi. I need a peach smoothie like yesterday. Uh, uh, okay, Gwen, but we really need... Uh, we can discuss after I get my smoothie, Gigi. This plan is working perfectly. While they're at the pit stop, we can go to the audition with no worries. 
I should probably gulp now. I'll do it for you. This might be a bigger deal than I thought. We can so do this. Actually, you can do it better than I can, but I'm still gonna try. <laughs> or maybe I shouldn't. Like you said, we can totally do this. As long as we do our best, we can be proud, no matter what happens. I'll do my best. Warm up, and we'll call you when we're ready for your audition. Excuse me. Sorry. Pardon. This isn't going well. Ooh. Ah, I'm back! Most fashionable right here! I'm here to be lead dancer of the modern dervish dance troupe. The rest of you might as well leave. What have we done? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Gwen Grande, and I'm good at everything. Hey, Gwen. I never knew you were a dancer. That's because you don't know anything. Everything is coming up Gwen these days. I don't even have to try to be good at things. Uh, okay, Gwen. But, um, I forgot something outside. BRB! If I were you, I wouldn't bother coming back. There's no way you'll look good when you're competing against this awesomeness. Ooh. <sighs> this is a disaster. We didn't make a confident girl. We made an overconfident snooty monster. Big difference. And that monster is out of control. I don't know what to do with her. If we let her go out there and dance, she'll be humiliated. And even though she's really annoying sometimes, it would kind of be my fault for making her think she could just waltz out there and modern dance. Right. Just jazz walk out there and audition. <sighs> I don't want to see her humiliated. We've made her look good so far. Why can't we just do it again? We could clone her and make sure to add some really good dance genes. Fresh out of cloning tech. If we let her go out there and embarrass herself, she'll be even worse off than when we started this mission. We have to tell her the truth. Gwen, we have- Gwen Grande! You're up first. Good, cause first is where I belong. You won't even need to see anyone else, Madame Fuerte. We have to stop her! Just looking out there makes me feel weak in the knees. Not me. I've got this in the cart. You mean bag? Did you just call me a mean bag? Um, Gwen, that's what we wanted to talk to you about. My fans are ready for me. Gwen, we're so sorry. We wanted to make you feel more confident, so we changed your clothes to make them more stylish. And we played the piano for you. And we made your art better. Because, I mean, really, it was so bad. I know. You know? <sighs> Come on, I know I didn't do all of those things. So, what are you waiting for? Make me do the dancing thing! I'm waiting! We can't help you with this. We don't know how. Oh well, at least thanks to you three, I'm really feeling on fire. And I've realized some things too. That's good, right? I've always needed Gigi's help to go after your locket, but now I know that I can do it on my own. Well, that plan backfired. Tiny power! <laughs> I'm gonna get you, Puppet! We need to go someplace that she can't follow! There's only one place she won't dare to go. Hit. Get somewhere safe while I distract her. Catch me if you can. Gwen! Oh! Ah. 
seem to like it. <laughs> oh, bravo, Gwen! Bravo! <laughs> Thanks for giving me the confidence to make your locket mine. <laughs> <laughs> Made the cut, thanks to us. <gasps> Woo! I'm a junior dervish, though. Awesome. Me too. I didn't make the cut. I'm sorry, Polly. Totally unfair. Want us to protest your being obviously overlooked by rejecting our spots that we worked so hard for? No, it was fair. I didn't work on it like you did, and I'm not exactly the most graceful girl. I guess I have a year to perfect that fuete before the next auditions. <laughs> or maybe I'm not naturally good at everything and modern dance is one of the not so good things. And you're okay with that? Nothing can phase the pocket confidence. Karaoke? Yeah! Let's do it! And that's the way we do! 